Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls. Now, today is going to be a little bit of a shorter video because I'm going to man up after all of the kind of running away I've been doing of Ornstein and Smo, and I'm going to kick their ass best way I know how, and that's by getting a bunch of phantoms and going in there to beat some ass. So we're going to get Grand Medensen, and we're going to get this dude, and maybe this dude, but we're just going to get a huge fucking group of people with me. And actually, I want a Sunbro with Havel's armor and the Drake sword. I don't know if I want that. Holy shit, there's so many summoning signs over here. <laughs> wow. But uh, yeah, I did some off-camera, you know, grinding. And I'm now level 72. I can now one hand um, that one, the the divine Murakomo. I can one hand that now. Um, I now have enough strength to one hand the Zweihander. Um, that was not the right one I wanted to do. Um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get these dudes and we're gonna go we're gonna go fuck some shit up. And I figured out that I can have this kind of set of armor on that has relatively decent stats and still have the the roll or the cool roll with the dark wood green or the dark wood some whatever it's called. So yeah. We got that going for us. And um I did do some practicing against Ornstein and Smo. Um, I put my summon sign down and people summoned me, and I helped them kill Ornstein and Smo. Um, I'm going to try and actually, you know what I'm going to do right now? You guys are going to watch me do this. Last two people I meet, this dude, send message, change gamer tags. Fuck. Let me see all the people on my friends list. And Grandma Denson. There you go, Smo. First. Because I want Orenstein's armor. And I will do whatever it takes to get that. So, we will head down, well really up, and then down. And they're already taking care of these guys. Um, he's got full health, he's got full health, they're checking the messages right now. Archer's dead, so let's go kick some ass. Alright, so I think what we're going to do is we're all going to focus on Smo. And then, is he coming? Yeah, he's here. Alright. We're gonna see a cutscene, but we're gonna mostly focus on Smo, which is the big fat dude holding the giant ass hammer. And that is Ornstein up there, and I want his armor. So we're gonna try and get it. By and if uh, if you kill Smo first, you get Ornstein's armor, and if you kill Ornstein first, then you get Smo's armor. So we're gonna try and kill Smo first, even though uh, Sm or, uh, Orenstein is harder later on. Um, I definitely want to. I it it's worth it for Orenstein's armor just because it looks really cool. And that was pretty stupid. Just a few more. There we go. Cool beans. Alright. So then Orenstein's gonna come over, he's gonna be like, you bastards, you killed my buddy. He's gonna get super pissed off, he's gonna turn into the Hulk and grow 10 feet tall. That is Super Orenstein, or Overcharged Smorn Orenstein. 
Um, I think the trick to Ornstein is to stay as close to him as possible, except when he does that. That sucks. A lot. But it looks like, holy shit, that could, dude is doing so much damage. So all I gotta worry to do, or all I gotta worry about now is just not dying. Don't hit me with your stupid, alright, cool beans, thank you guys. So we got Soul of Ornstein, those guys are gone, we're gonna pick up the Leo Ring and the Humanity. Now, the other cool thing about this area is, there's actually two elevators. We've got this big elevator, and we've got this smaller elevator. And it's kind of funny because we've got one elevator for Smo and one elevator for Ornstein. I don't know. I just thought that was kind of cool. Um, so yeah. What we could also do this episode is kill the Firekeeper. Or kill the, um, the guy who killed the Firekeeper in uh, Firelink Shrine. Um, actually, I think... I'm going to do that now, just because I'm not sure what will happen if I, um, okay, can't do that yet. Um, I'm not sure what will happen if I talk to the lady up there, if I go through that door before doing this. So I'm going to do this now. I really hope I didn't fuck this up. And these guys are back. How awesome. Because I love fighting these guys. Okay, Black Eye Orb is here. So we're going to get that. And we're going to invade the world of the Firekeeper. Alright. And I know I'm kind of bouncing around, but... Whatever. I do what I want. So we're going to come in here, and we're going to fight, I cannot remember his name, um, shit, he's got the Helm of the Wise, or not the Helm of the Wise, he's got the, whatever it's called, Lawtrek, that's his name. So, there is Lawtrek in the middle, he's got the Mage to the left, and kind of like a Knight to the right. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to take out the mage. If I can reach him. There we go. Is he... He's not going to move. I don't really want to do it this way. Because this is so cheap. So I'm just going to run up and kick their ass. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep the humanity up. Because we cannot heal while in this form. Well, look at me. Yes, look at me. Um, there's two things we can do for this fight. We can take out the mage first, which will make this fight a lot easier, or we can just focus on kicking Lotrex's ass. Don't you dare backstab me. I kind of want to focus on the mage, but at the same time, I don't. So we're just going to run for our lives real quick and not get hit by a soul arrow, because that will do a shit ton of damage. Um, we're just going to come up here and kind of try and separate them. So we're going to Lawtrek, and then his butt buddy. And I think if we if we just murder Lawtrek, then we win. But I will be using Humanity in a minute, because I don't want to die. And you're going to get hit by this fireball. Burn, Saga. Shit. Is he dead? Is he dead? No, he's not dead. Fuck. Yes, he is dead. Humanity. Everybody back off. Everybody back off. Just just keep backing up. There we go. Alright. So, you know, very successful so far. Wasn't that bad. I kind of expected it to be a little bit worse. But it went okay. And I'm not sure... Okay, so we got the Ring of Favor and the Firekeeper Soul. So... We're just going to head back down here and head back up over here and not get hit by his stupid giant's helper 
and roll up the stairs, because why not? Back to where we killed Orange and Smo. And I don't think those guys are following me up here. Nope, okay. And you know, why not? Let's go up Smo's elevator. I actually don't know what would happen if you would kind of go down there, like, while the elevator is coming down. Like, do you just die? I don't know. There it is. Alright, cool. So, we're going to come over here, and we are going to pick up not a very useful set of armor, but a cool set of armor. And this is Lawtrex armor. So, we're going to put that on. And it's actually lighter... Okay, never mind. This is this is pretty heavy set of armor. Yeah, we're not gonna get that roll, but we are essentially law trek now, and um, you might be wondering why there's like two arms going across his chest there. Um, I actually learned about this in a video from I think his name was Epic Name Bro, and uh, he's got a really cool set of um I actually forgot what armor we had on but I don't know it's not this um he he's got a lot of um good kind of lore videos for this game and some of them are really cool and um the the video I watched was about Law Trek and Law Trek is or he's he's kind of like infatuated with this goddess Fina and um, yeah it says here the goddess's arms wrap around it as if to embrace the wearer so he's wearing that because uh, Fina, goddess of Fina's arms or Fina's arms are kind of wrapping around his chest because he's trying to embrace her because he's infatuated with her or something like that um, So another thing is like uh, I learned that the reason he killed the Firekeeper was to give the goddess Fina the Firekeeper's soul as kind of like a token of his gratitude to try and like impress her. Um, so that's why he killed the Firekeeper and then we killed him because we have to get the Firekeeper's soul back. But um, yeah, be wearing your amazing chest. Yeah, very funny. Overcome much chosen undead. Come hither, child. Okay. So this is the goddess Fina. Um, yeah. Oh, chosen undead. I am Guinevere. Er, sorry, not goddess Fina. What the hell am I talking? This is Guinevere. Queen and queen of sunlight. Since the day your father is formed in obscurity, I have awaited thee. I bequeath the Lord Vessel to thee. And she is giving us the Lord Vessel, which will allow us to warp between bonfires. And beseech thee, succeed Lord Queen, and inherit the fire of our world. Thou shalt end it this eternal twilight, and avert further undead sacrifices. Okay. Um, we are not going to join her covenant because I don't want to but as you can see now um, we can now warp and we can warp to different uh, dark moon tomb where is that uh, we can now warp to different bonfires that we've been to and I actually don't know where dark moon tomb is I don't remember going there unless that's the place under an Orlando Yeah, it is. Okay, so this is another place I kind of stumbled upon accidentally. Um, didn't really think it was too important to record it, but I got... Uh, the Ring of Suns Firstborn, which boosts miracles, but I'm not going to be using miracles, so I don't really think that that was too necessary. Um, now, if you don't restore the bonfire to firelink uh you just can't rest there you can still warp there though but you can't rest there and get estus back and 
do all the stuff you would normally do at a bonfire, like repair your weapons and stuff like that. Like you can't do that if the firekeeper is absent or if she's still dead and you haven't returned the soul. Um, but you can still warp there. So I guess if you really wanted to, you can get Estus Flask plus four at this point in the game. But I don't really see that being too necessary. Because, I mean, three, it already does a lot. Um, so yeah, we're just going to give her back her soul. And then she will reappear. And then she'll have something to say. Thank you. I am Anastasia of Astora. Now I can continue my duty as a keeper. But I only hope that my impure tongue does not offend. So yeah, I guess firekeepers aren't kind of supposed to talk. Um, or they're not, they're not allowed to, I don't know. I don't really know much about firekeepers. Um, but uh, yeah, so we restored the bonfire and now we can rest at it and get 10. I actually kind of want to, oh no, I can't do that yet. Okay. Um, so yeah, next time, I think what we're going to do, actually what I am going to do right now is level up my endurance and vitality. Maybe endurance twice. I don't know. Endurance and vitality, why not? Mostly because I want to get my equipment load up so that I can wear the Silver Knight armor and still be able to do the roll. But I think that's kind of a far... It's um a ways away. Because I think with all this stuff off, I need three, uh, eight. This doesn't weigh anything. Um, so yeah, I need like eight more on this, which really kind of sucks. But um, before I go, can now one hand this weapon? So that'll be helpful in the catacombs. And I can also one hand these Y hander, and I also upgraded this to plus five to try and get this to the lightning Y hander and Manserving Greatsword, obviously. Because that has the same kind of requirements as the Zwei Hander. Um, I don't think there's anything else. Oh yeah, I also got Silver Knight Spears from kind of farming the Silver Knights in, in Orlando. Um, I am to understand that this is a divine weapon. So... Basically... Getting this weapon was just, like, useless. Because we've already got a divine weapon. Or it's, like, naturally a divine weapon. So, you know, that's kind of a kick in the nuts, but... Whatever. Shit happens. So, yeah. As always, thank you guys for watching. I need to get my stuff back in order. And... I'm probably going to turn this into a lightning composite bow. When I get back to An Orlando or the the blacksmith, or uh, Andre of Astora. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. And we will be taking on the Demon Ruins next time, I think. Um, yeah, we'll do that next time. So, yeah, Demon Ruins next time. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you later.